has. All right, so back to the conversation before the break, Borky. The the question about the year of change in 2024. The SEC is expanding. We'll, We'll start with this one. The SEC is expanding to 16 teams with the addition of Texas and Oklahoma. Is that mm-hmm. a benefit, a detriment, or didn't really change much about the circumstances for Ole Miss and Mississippi State? Just their addition. We'll get to schedule in a second. It's definitely a benefit, in my opinion, because mm-hmm. if you, you don't want to talk about the schedule, that's fine. The amount of money that these two schools are going to pick up because of new TV deals is significant. It's a significant chunk of change. And for State and Ole Miss, I mean, really, when this is all done, the only schools that should be ahead of them in, in budget rankings are their fellow SEC schools and then the, the elite of the elite, the Ohio State, Michigan, USC types. Everybody else they should be ahead of. So that's that's great news for both schools. Yeah, I agree on the financial front. And, you know, beyond that, uh, I do think there's some other benefits. I, I, it gives you... Uh, at least once every four years, Texas or Oklahoma is coming to Davis Wade or Vault Hemingway for a game, mm-hmm. and that's a win. It's going to be a it'll be a great atmosphere. There will be some novelty to it initially. What he just said? We'll talk about the schedules in a minute. I'm not talking about schedules yet. I'm not. T- I'm just. I'm. I'm talking about. That is, that's that schedule. No. Uh, no. I mean no. the the. No, I'm talking about. He's talking about the nine game schedule. Right. Yeah. Ah. No, I'm just talking about the 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 addition Please. of those teams. I mean, not to cast aspersions, but when Missouri travels to Oxford or Starkville, or Vanderbilt travels, or. Even South Carolina travels. You don't have the same buzz around your town and around your stadium and around the game that you have when Alabama comes to town or when Georgia comes to town or whomever. There's a huge buzz around Kentucky coming to Oxford this year because it had been so stinking long since they had been there. When Texas comes to Starkville or Oxford, when Oklahoma comes to Starkville or Oxford, not just the first time, but in subsequent trips as well, that's going to be a big deal. It's going to be an event. It's going to feel big for the schools and for the towns. And so, yeah, I, I think that's an added benefit. And the other thing is, I don't think you got to be scared of Texas and Oklahoma. No. No. You, you play Texas and Oklahoma. They're just another good program in the SEC. Wow. Yeah, that's a great point, Borky. You already play Texas and Oklahoma every year, just by a different name. You play – you play Texas 2005 and Oklahoma 2000 every year. That's who you play. Yeah. And you play Alabama <laughs> and you play Georgia. I mean, I, if you play Alabama and Georgia, you ain't got no reason to be scared of anybody else on your schedule. Yeah. All right, so now the nine-game schedule. We get a question on the text line. Is it going to be divisions? No. Is it going to be pods? No. no. You're going to have three permanent opponents and six rotating. So you will play every team in the SEC twice in a four-year period, guaranteed. The new, or soon-to-be new, nine-game conference schedule with your three permanent opponents and six rotating is a positive, a negative, or doesn't change anything about Ole Miss or Mississippi State circumstances. It depends on what the SEC wants to do with the Power 5 game requirement. If they were keep force the teams to keep that game, and you're playing 10 Power 5 games a year, that's tough. That's tough for State and Ole Miss. It's going to be tough to consistently stay bowl eligible. You're going to, I mean, I'm looking ahead to 2024. Will Rogers gone. Marks gone. Tulu Griffin probably gone. Um, all of your offensive linemen gone. Buki Watson gone. Gone. Everybody's gone. That's a rebuilding year. As it stands right now, let's say State doesn't get rid of Arizona State and they keep, they get rid of Utah State. That means State will play because it's, you got to remember, it's going to be four home and five away. And then the next year it's five home, and there's no way you'll convince me State gets on the good side to start off. So <laughs> you're at Arizona State. You're going to have six road games in a season. That's tough. I mean, I, that, you're talking about it's great to get Texas and Oklahoma. It gives you some buzz, right? But now you're losing a home game. I, I, if I'm State, I'm doing everything I can to, to tell I – mean, State has, has, has non-conference series, and Ole Miss is the same way. 
booked through 2032, I believe. They're just going to have to get out of those, and it's going to cost them money. No way around that. But I think they, 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 I think they don't the, need to uh, play those series. I think the Power 5 requirement is going to stay in place. I think it'll be nine well, SEC games that, plus another Power 5, so you'll have 10. I think. Uh, then I think it's going to be some year. There's going to be some leaner years, you know. Those years where State could pretty much be guaranteed to go 6 and 6, Ole Miss could be guaranteed to go 6 and 6. Those are going to be years where you're like, man, it might be 5 and 7. Might not make a bowl game this year. Isn't the hang up on that they're not sure if the TV contract will grow if they keep that requirement? Right. Isn't that what the, the infighting is uh, about that right now? <laughs> yes. And this is the folly of scheduling games as far out as football does. Basketball and baseball don't do this. They just make the schedule every year, and then you know, they might have a deal or two ahead of time, but it's usually just for the next season and the season after that. They're not. There's no basketball schedule right now. That's almost has a game schedule for 2035, th- 12 years from now. I think there's one for 2037 that's on the schedule, isn't there? <laughs> there might be. Like Virginia Tech. I mean, that's just just silliness. Just silliness. Look, look, generally speaking, though. With the way that Ole Miss and Mississippi State have scheduled these Power 5 games, you should win those games. Now, the other opponent may look at it the exact same way and say you should win those games. Maybe the the outlier for Ole Miss is that game against Southern Cal, when 25 and 26 when those are happening. But, I mean, Ole Miss is, I mean, it's, it's Wake Forest and it's Purdue, and for Mississippi State it's Arizona and Arizona State. You should be able to win those games, even with – Nine SEC games. Sports Talk Miss Kenny says that he hopes that they don't play the, quote, six in back-to-back years. Talking about the the rotating opponents, he said, in other words, if you get Tennessee in year one at home, then Missouri would be maybe your year two opponent, opponent, as an example. I like that. On the road. Or or maybe that would be at home. How, How would you do that? So would you go like just like that, just like what you were saying? You would play Tennessee at home, Missouri on the road, Tennessee on the road, Missouri at home, or home home so road play road. The same six teams. But that's what he's saying is like you play the same six teams in back to back years. I don't like that. I think you should mix it up. Yeah. I do. Well, they think- got to they got to figure out a way to balance that, but they've also got to remember balance the five and the four. Yeah, where you get five right. home games one year and four home games the next year right one of these schools has a math department that can put an algorithm together to to make sure that alabama gets all the breaks and uh, that we get we get screwed up here uh i I think the answer to the question though i think it's two different answers that's what i've been thinking about all day i think going to nine games will be a detriment to the results that old miss and mississippi state can have 10 power five games as opposed to nine and the additional one being an SEC team is more difficult. It will be harder to acquire wins, which makes the seasons more difficult and the results and all that. I think that that is, that is fair to say. Instead of it being Furman, it is now Florida. That hurts. That makes it harder for you on an annual basis. I do think it's better for the fans. So it's, it's worse for Ole Miss and Mississippi State's football teams better for the fans because instead of Furman with all due respect to my paladins who will be an Oxford upset alert next year it is Florida and when you're buying a season ticket package or if you're just watching at home it's better for you as a fan you spend months counting down to the season and then it's Mercer kicking off the season there's fewer of those as a consumer it's better for the teams it's worse harder harder 